biggest uh, recorded jumps so far of 2016, and it actually ended up hitting um, a mark that we haven't seen yet in 2016 for the British pound if you compare it to the U.S. dollar, which is fantastic because it's it's really cool witnessing, you know, something that's kind of like a history or like a, will be a big point so far for the British pound so far in 2016. So it hit a huge, huge, huge high today. Um, just crazy. I know a lot of people in our trading room are going pretty nuts watching it. Um, it's super cool that we got to witness that today. Um, so we're, today we're going to be going over a couple quick things just to start. Obviously, um, the webinars this week have been a little bit more dedicated to uh, a little bit advanced trading techniques, such as um, looking on the technical analysis as well as fundamental analysis side for the British News event. Um, I know Dan hosted a couple of them this week, and generally Dan's webinars are a little bit more pro level uh, in uh, exactly what they cover. Uh, a lot of other analysts here, when they do our webinars, we try to stick to more um, kind of basic knowledge and uh, use the platform a little bit more in order to show you guys exactly how to place your trades and kind of fundamental knowledge to make during it. Um, everybody else uh, d definitely sticks to the kind of more advanced technical analysis of it. So there's, there's, there's kind of like a yin and a yang that you got to have to blend together when you're doing this t type of trading technique. You also have to, you know, take one into consideration which is how to do the trades on what method on what platform what you're comfortable with what you're not comfortable with and then also at the same time uh, take into consideration uh, what you're trading and why you're trading it so there's two very important methods when you're coming to trading and that's going to definitely allow you to get to your kind of pro status and uh, obviously get to that second income very quick uh, so this week obviously um, Everything's been about the pound. Uh, everything's been about the pound. Uh, the, the Brexit has affected a lot of different things around the globe. Um, commodities, uh, currencies, indices. Uh, it's created a huge, huge, huge blend of different events. So we're going to be going over that in just a little bit. I'll break it down um, very simple on exactly why uh, it's, it's affecting the things that it is and uh, kind of what we predict for the remaining uh, day here because we're still ongoing with the Brexit. Uh, the polling won't stop until 10 p.m. GMT. That's when the last remaining polls close. Um, obviously, they remained open throughout basically, I think it was 14 hours today they were open uh, from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. Um, so they want to make sure that basically the entire citizenship of Britain gets in there to vote. So. Um, obviously, they're keeping it open pretty late. There's some really funny stories of uh, um, older blind people being let in, um, uh, not understanding what they're really voting for, and people helping them. It, it's been absolutely crazy. If, if, you, if you're following any sort of live feeds for the British um, uh, referendum vote right now, it's because it's basically one of the highest um, concentrated of votes that they've had so far. Uh, the amount of people that are actually coming out to vote is huge because of the amount of press this has been getting. Um, so polling stations are packed beyond belief right now. So it's going to be difficult uh, to predict when exactly we're going to see the polls closing and the actual um, uh, the actual result. Um, I think in my time, I'm GMC plus three. I'm not going to be able to see the results probably until tomorrow morning. But that definitely presents a unique opportunity for traders because, uh, as you guys should know at this point, currency markets don't close. Uh, they're consistently traded during non-peak hours. So, you know, throughout the night, specifically North American time, when it gets into more Asian markets, that's when it kind of slows down a little bit if you're not looking at things like the yuan or the yen. Uh, then it starts to slow down a little bit. But uh, it's going to be moving all day and all night tonight. So it's definitely going to provide a really unique experience for individuals that find themselves now home from work and have the ability to now go in front of their computer and start trading. Um, and uh, it's going to present a really unique opportunity for you guys to really make some cash this afternoon and really create a whole lot of trades and a lot of uh, techniques. And it's going to really show you how a news event such as this affects the market and then the remaining effects afterwards caused by things like uh, technical analysis where trends break out and breakout patterns occur and then you're able to basically get in and get out and try to take advantage of those small trends occurring in the market. So even if you're just trading on your demo account, it's still super powerful. When markets move and we see those profit or losses incurring, it's always beneficial to us as traders because it's the best way to ultimately become a better trader when you see the market affecting your account balance. I know that's kind of how I really started my trading career off when I saw something negative happening. I took note, okay, that's why it's happening like that. 
and then positive, obviously, you kind of feel that first rush of seeing your, your account go positive, and that's how you really get into it. And you start knowing exactly what to do in order to uh, make your account profitable. So, uh, but first to be, first of all, obviously, we just want to go back to the basics quickly because we didn't really cover a lot of that this week. So we're going to do two things just quickly here on the platform. I want to show you guys how to place a trade on the Forex side of the trading menu, specifically on your desktop. Uh, it should be repetition to a lot of you out there. Uh, then I'm going to show you exactly how to place your stop loss and take profit. After that, I'm going to show you how to do the exact same on your X Mobile device. I'm also going to show you how to download the X Mobile device. So those are two very powerful methods and two things you should definitely be using in conjunction with each other tonight uh, or you know this afternoon, whatever it is, wherever you are around the world. Um, they're definitely going to be two very powerful maneuvers in order to take advantage of the um, uh, craziness that's happening in the markets right now. So let's go ahead and quickly move through. So that's basically what we're covering today. We're covering the mobile app as well as the X station. And what we're covering on both of those is how to create Forex trades and how to make sure that there's a stop loss and take profit in those because also very important, especially when you're dealing with an event like the Brexit. There's a very, very high possibility that the market could ultimately swing in one direction or another. Who knows? Maybe all of a sudden the polls are going to come through with an opposite result of what the market has currently factored in. That's going to cause the market to move quite a bit. So you always got to be ready for that. That's why that stop loss is always there to make sure that you're only losing exactly what you're willing to lose on every trade. So you're never going to allow emotions to get into it. And then we're going to go a little update from the Brexit and uh, hopefully we can get you guys trading and pumped up for the night to come because it should be pretty crazy stuff. Um, okay, so when you walk away from this, I want you guys basically to be totally familiar with how to place a trade on the Forex menu. It's so simple. Um, when individuals come to me and they say, you know, I, I still can't figure out how to place a Forex trade, it's literally just a couple clicks at your mouse. It's very, very simple. How to place a trade on the mobile device is almost even more simple than that. So I want to show you guys quickly how to do that. The only tricky thing on the mobile device that's a little bit easier on the Forex side of your desktop is uh, placing your stop loss and take profit. So I just want to make sure that you guys also know how to do that on your mobile device too. And uh, then we're going to be doing an update from the Brexit. Um, I'll show you guys exactly why we hit the high point we hit earlier today and uh, what basically will come throughout tonight. Um, we have kind of a prediction now that it's at its high point. It's probably going to be trending lower until uh, the actual vote comes out and we see the actual process because when nerves enter the market and when people get nervous, um, that always causes people to um, start panicking a little bit and panicking always causes the market to decrease in value. So that's more than likely the uh, possible occurrence we're going to see tonight, but we're going to show you guys uh, how to kind of enter in and out of trades and make sure that you're in an advantageous place to take advantage of this huge event because it's the biggest event so far that we've seen in 2016 for a trading news. Um, to think that this month could have been both the Brexit and a potential rate hike from the U.S. government is crazy. Um, I can't imagine what the markets would be doing right now or would have done in the past two weeks if that was the case. Um, okay, so placing a trade. So very simple stuff, guys. This blue line here is simply your purchase line or your uh, short line on the chart. So we're looking currently at a Euro USD chart right now. So this means that we're currently looking at the value of the Euro. If you're ever confused when you see a chart that has two currency denominations, which is always going to be the case when you trade a currency, if you're ever confused and you need to realize what is being ultimately evaluated in this chart, just look at the first currency. So the euro is being examined in this chart, meaning if there's a spike, that means the euro is increasing in value. If there's a drop, the euro is decreasing in value. We always need a second currency to compare it to or else the currency is just going to remain at one, right? So that's why this is increasing and decreasing relative to the U.S. dollar. So the factor, the, the, the value of the U.S. dollar also plays a role in this denomination as well. Um, so obviously when you're looking at Euro USD and, you know, say employment data comes out for the US dollar, we're going to see Euro USD go down, right? Because the value of the US dollar is going up against the Euro. It may seem a little confusing to some individuals when they first start trading, but the main thing you just got to realize is that if you're looking at the denomination that is currently in view, um, the Euro is always a good call and you're going to see for the most part, the denomination that you're trading against is always going to be compared to the US dollar. Um, that's typically what we're going to be looking at, especially if we're looking at the pound for the Brexit. It's going to be GPB, so Great Britain Pound, that's the acronym for it, against USD, United States dollar. 
So GPB, USD, we're still looking at the Great British Pound, but we're comparing it to the United States dollar. So that's kind of why you always see these two currencies back to back and generally why you always see the US dollar. The US dollar is one of the most major traded currencies out there. It might be the most major traded currency out there depending on you know where you are globally. So it's, you're always going to see it in relation to other currencies out there. Some other ones that you see are uh, you know GPB, JPY uh, comparing against the yen because the yen is also a very powerful indicator. It's also, like the United States dollar, considered a safe haven asset. So a safe haven asset, if you know that word, that means whenever there's a lot of geopolitical tensions or people freaking out about British, Britain leaving the EU, which would really cause some massive global economic problems, people will put their money in a safe haven asset. So the first safe haven asset you guys should ultimately consider or, or think about is gold. Gold is a big safe haven asset. The second is the United States dollar. United States dollar is also a huge safe haven asset. If you see the United States dollar going up, sometimes it means that it's because people are very scared. So they're putting their money in the United States dollar because they still see it as a very safe place to put your money. Um, and obviously the yen. The yen is actually even more of a safe haven currency than the United States dollar. It all, always fluctuates based on current geopolitical tensions currently in the market. That's why the yen was very largely affected by the Brexit. It was moving all over the place as a safe haven asset, and so was gold. Gold was moving crazier than I've ever seen it this last week. So um, that's why safe haven assets are being really affected by the market. So um, that's just kind of like a little extra side bit there. But hopefully at this point, all I really want you guys to see is that when you see one of these orange lines currently on your market data or your candlestick chart, that means that represents a position in the market. If you ever need to see kind of what the position is, you can see if you look very closely to your screen, this is a buy position right here. So obviously when you buy something, you're predicting it is going up in value. You want it to go up in value, right? That's going long, as they say in the industry. So you can see here that on this particular position, the client has made a lot of money, right? Because the market boosted up in value. Um, you can see this massive boost here. Maybe the euro um, was inflated because of some economic data, maybe in relation to employment data, who knows. So but in any of the case, the trader guessed right here, sorry, the trader guessed right here and the market increased in value, which is why you see below here, the profit is currently at $166. That's why the trader is up money because the market boosted up. So if you're ever creating a long position in the market, you want it to increase in value. Alternatively, if you create a short position, you want it to decrease in value. Fundamental rules of trading currency or trading anything on the Forex market, it's very simple. You buy something, you want it to go up. You sell something, you want it to go down. It's just all you got to really wrap your head around. Obviously, this might seem like total repetition to a lot of you out there. Um, and I apologies for, uh, apologies for that. But obviously, this is just the first thing you got to wrap your mind around when you start trading currencies on the market. Placing a stop loss and take profit or managing your risk is also very simple. Um, what some individuals out there ask me what a take profit and a stop loss is and how you got to think of it is basically you have somebody on the inside working for you at um, the trading station. So basically you took a position in the market, maybe you took a buy position like we have here. You can see if you look closely at the screen, it's a buy position. So we take the buy position and we want to create a uh, stop loss and a take profit. So Basically, we say, okay, well, I don't want to wait around on my computer for this to jump 52 pips or drop 23 pips. I want to make sure that I have somebody working for me in the system that will actually close off the trade if it reaches my profitable mark and then takes that money and puts it in my account. So that's a take profit. If the market hits the mark uh, that you think it's going to hit without you even being at the screen, your take profit will naturally close the trade and your profit will then accumulate into your overall balance. So it's very important if you don't want to wait around forever, if you don't have a, you know, unlimited time, if this is a secondary income for you, you're definitely in the norm. Um, you want to create a take profit. So you want, as soon as that is level is hit, you take all that profit. Um, alternatively, a stop loss allows you to mitigate the amount of exposure you have in the market. So say you enter a trade and you have an account balance of a thousand dollars and you say, okay, well, um, this is going to be one of my first trades. I really only want to lose if I do lose anything on it. If market factors move against me, I only want to lose $25. That's what I'm comfortable losing. Well, that's totally fine because then if you were to create a 0 0.1 lot trade, this is a pretty massive position the client is taking right now. It's a 10 lot trade. So say you only put a 0 0.1 lot trade and you moved it down 23 pips, you would only expose yourself to about 20, 24, $25 in uh, negativity that you could incur on the trade. So 
even worst case scenario when the market moves against you, despite your research and what you've done into the market and what we've instructed you on, you still only stand to lose exactly what you want to lose. So that's a very important factor at the same time. So you have an idea of what you want to gain and exactly what you want to lose. So even if you lose on the trade, you're still only losing what you're comfortable with. You're not losing your entire account balance at any time. So very important stuff there. Uh, it also allows you to make sure that every time you gain, you're gaining double what you lose. So even at its most level, uh, at a 50-50 level, if you're gaining double on your wins than your losses and you win 50% of the time, you're always going to come out on top, right? So the stop loss and take profit allows you to do that. So it's only, it's 50-50, right? It's either going up or it's going down. So if you're making twice as much on your wins than your losses, let me say that again, you're always going to be in the money. So it's an interesting way of thinking about it, right? Um, and it allows you to just enter into the market knowing that even if you pull this basic, basic strategy off and not even look into market conditions or market trends, you're still going to come out on top at the end of the day. Um, so that's about it for the PowerPoint. I want to move over to the demo here just so we can see. So I currently obviously have GPB USD up. I think we're in a pretty prime position right now actually for a downward trend of it, but we're going to trade that in just a little bit later. So let's go over to something like EURUSD. EURUSD is definitely trending downward on the 50 minute chart right here. We have a whole lot of white with a current uptick and then downward trend again. So this is a perfect spot for a short right now. Um, it seems the market's definitely trending downward. You can see the overall trend line is going down from its top peak point it hit right here. So let's go ahead and create a short position. If we create a short position, that means we're predicting the market is going down in value. If this MACD chart confuses you, don't worry about it. Some traders use it. Um, very easy to exit out of it. You just click the X here. And there we go. Way more simple, right? So if you want to create a short position in the market, it, when you put your cursor over the candlestick chart, you're going to see this come up on the top left-hand side screen right here. So this is the size of your contract, right? Right in the middle, how big you want your contract to be. One lot is huge. If you're on a demo account, and your balance is 100,000, by all means, create a big position. The biggest position you can create, just to put it in perspective, is a 50 lot contract. That's the biggest. The smallest is a 0.1 lot contract. That's very minimal gains. That's every pip you make is equal to $1. So it's small gains, small losses. Um, if you think about it, the, uh, the market jumped about 140 pips today. So even if you guessed right, you'd only, and you were dealing at a 0.1 lot contract, you'd only make $140 today, even if you, accurately predicted the market to a T today, which very few traders have done, right? So it minimizes your losses, but it also uh, minimizes your gains at the same time too, right? When you're dealing with a 0.1 log contract. So let's go ahead and move it up a bit just because we can afford it with our big account balance here on our demo account. And we'll hit that line. So as soon as you hit it, it strikes. Boom. Just like that. So our market is in, uh, our uh, purchase is in order right now. So we shorted the market. So we currently have that orange dotted line up right now. We're right at the market line on it, so that's why it's kind of blocking it out a bit. But you can see this orange dotted line right here. So very easy stuff now to create your take profit and your stop loss. And this is why a lot of people love the XStation platform is because of how modern some of the features are on it. And this is one of the reasons why I love it is because the stop loss and the take profit feature are extremely modern, like extremely, extremely. So. All you have to do is put your cursor over the orange dotted line and click on it. Then you're going to see your take profit and your stop loss lines come up. In order to initiate them, you simply click on them and drag. So let's do my take profit. So as I adjust my take profit downward, you can see my potential profit increasing. So it even shows exactly what you stand to gain if your take profit is in that certain point. So let's move it down to this line here. That's just about 30 pips downward. So not that big of a move. Definitely feasible on Euro USD here. And once you uh, stop dragging, you are you have a confirm order. You simply click yes, and then it's going to strike like that. Alternatively, we also want to make sure we have a stop loss, right? Just to ensure that we don't lose as much as we plan. So let's do exactly what I recommended, and let's put that just to about half. So let's do about maybe 20 pips in the other direction. So in about two minutes or three minutes there, guys, you can see I just created a stop loss and a take profit, and you can see how easy that was. Honestly, it really wasn't that bad. Uh, the XStation platform makes it so simple. As soon as your cursor is over the screen, you're going to see this come up. And it's just red is short, blue is long, and this is how you change your desired contract size. So it's very simple stuff right now. 
The market's already trending downward. We're almost already in the profit here, guys. You can see it's currently trending downward right now. We're almost at profitability. So you can see even just looking at the trend for this market right now, we're almost at profitability. Um, okay, so now that we know how to master the Forex on the desktop version, let's go and do quickly on mobile. And then we'll jump back on the platform and see if we can make some money trading uh, the GPB USD while we talk about exactly what's been going on. So uh, in order to download the X-Mobile app, it's very, very simple. You just got to head over to your app store. I know I keep showing this in all my webinars. I just want to make sure that you guys know exactly where to go and what to download in order to get it. It's so powerful having X-Mobile because it really combats one of the main faults that a lot of people bring forward with trading online, which is that they don't have time. I don't have time, Matt. How do I have time to do all this stuff? How do I have time? How do I have time? Easy. X-Mobile makes it very simple. Uh, in the amount of time it takes you to check news on your phone or go on Facebook, you can make a trade. Um, so everybody has the time and everybody is, has the ability, unless you're, you know, um, I can't even think of a job right now where you wouldn't have the ability to check your phone out on, you know, for two to three seconds every day. You have the ability to hop on there and create a trade with a, with a stop loss and a take profit in mind. And it's very easy on the platform to see when certain things are trending. So um, as you can see on the left hand side of the screen here, this is the uh, general one that will open up. And you can see that I have uh, these green and red patterns on the board. So these green and red patterns, if they're flashing a lot, if something's flashing red or flashing green, you'll know that the market is currently trending in a certain direction. Once you then click on this chart right here, the candlestick charting pattern on the right hand side, you'll see this screen come up here. You'll then be able to see the chart. So you can see the chart on a day pattern and on a very short minute pattern. So you can see exactly what's been occurring. Once you have that and you know exactly what you want to trade, you simply click on the denomination or the instrument, adjust your spread just like we did on the Forex side of it, and then buy or sell. So very simple stuff. If you want to change between commodities, indices, equities, or ETFs, it's all up here for you to change. So let's go through a step-by-step -step process for a Euro USD. If you're looking to change that, you can do a 0 0.15 spread lot if you want. Um, you can, once you figure out what you want to do, so maybe the market's trending downward, you want to sell. So just like we did on the platform, right? We sold Euro USD on the platform. So we sold it, it's gonna again make a confirm order as soon as you press the sell button. Simply click yes. Once you have that, you're gonna have a little uh, ability to check out the graph in case you wanna do that before, but you can see on the trend line here, it's trending downward big time. Obviously there's a trend downward. So as soon as you created your position, all you gotta do is swipe right on your phone and you're gonna be able to see the current profit that you have over all your trades, your current balance, your current equity, that's all gonna be available in a quick little snapshot if you scroll right on your screen. If you want to check out your, um, your overall uh, position and adjust to your stop loss and your take profit, which is where it gets just a tiny bit tricky, you want to click on the three dotted lines right here at the top left hand side of your screen. Once you click on those, you're going to see all of your, basically your overall view of the platform and your overall view of the XStation mobile platform. Trading, charts, orders, calendar, news and uh, analysis, that's all available on the mobile um, chart as well. So once you click on orders, you're going to see the positions that you currently have up. So you can see that I currently have my EURUSD sell position 0 0.15 lots open. You then need to click on modify. Once you click on modify, that's when you're going to have the ability to set your stop loss and your take profit. So it's a very simple position. You just got to click on the three lines at the top left hand of the screen, click on your orders, to see what order you want to automatically adjust so you modify this position and then create that stop loss and your take profit in a desired range and it's going to have your estimated profitability and estimated loss on the side. So it's a little bit different. There's no drag and drop feature obviously because it's a touch screen but it's still very simple to do and once you do it once you're going to have it in your mind it's going to be very easy to do it over and over again. Um, so that's really about it I believe for the um, PowerPoint presentation. I'll leave this chart open just in case you guys maybe want to take a quick uh, mental note or a quick screenshot. It's just a matter of getting this open, clicking orders, modifying your order, and then creating a stop loss and a take profit is how you do it on the go. Uh, again, it's a little bit more simple on the desktop because you can simply drag and drop, but on the mobile platform, it's very simple as well. It maybe just takes a second or two to do it. You just got to go to orders, modify, and then create them. Um, and then once you start doing that, guys, you'll see your, your profits start accumulating very quickly. 
because the station allows you to uh, pick up on trends very, very, very quickly in the market. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and hop back on to the platform here. Uh, so what do we have going here? Okay, so we're actually in profitability right now for the Euro USD trade. It's still trending downward like I thought it would. It's pretty obvious to see the trend line downward here. Um, it's just hovering around there, but I think it's definitely going to gain some momentum. I think our stop loss is placed at a pretty desirable range right here, so we can definitely make some profit with that. Um, so let's head over to GPB USD. So let's look at a snapshot here, guys. So the minute 30 right now is up at about this level that hit about 49, I think it was 49.50. So it almost hit the 150 mark for GPB USD. So this is a minute 30 chart, right? So it's every candlestick is about a 30 minute pattern. So that's why it heads back to about June 21st, right on our calendar. But we can adjust that. So let's adjust to a uh, daily chart. So look at that. This goes all the way back to um, basically January. So we hit today was the high point. So that's pretty insane if you think about that, guys. Look at the past um, a few days or past week and the amount of upward trend that it has. It's been just insane. That's been more movement over a period of time like that than over the entire year so far. And think about all the things that have occurred over the entire year so far. The stock market coming close to a collapse, um, the oil levels going to an insane amount. We've had so many insane scenarios this year, but the Brexit referendum has been one of the biggest and it just occurred. So you guys are really viewing history right now as it's occurring on the platform. So this is the highest point it hit in 2016. Obviously the pound has, if we go to a weekly chart, we can see this kind of in perspective, but it's been a long time coming since we were at this level, not since almost October of 2015 were we back at this level. Uh, and that was after a massive downward spiral that the pound took to hit that really low mark right at January with a lot of other pound, with a lot of other currencies because the US dollar inflated so much. So it's really cool to see that we're really witnessing something that's very truly affecting the currency market and that's coming in the result of the Brexit. Why is the Brexit affecting the currency market in the way that it's affecting it right now? Well, it's really simple to think about it. Um, basically, everybody's really worried about Britain. Uh, it, it, people like Richard Branson are now coming out and they're basically saying, look guys, we have to remain within the EU. There's a reason why currencies or countries will literally have revolutions to try to get into the EU uh, and separate from other areas of non-interest. The amount of trade that opens up when you're part of the EU is, is insane and the benefits that come as a result are huge. Um, a lot of people believe that a lot of old Britons are being extremely stubborn and a lot of new kind of anarchist movement within Britain and uh, nationalist movement is causing a lot of individuals to perceive the EU as a negative economic entity for Britain. But a lot of high up people are saying, no, we need to stay in the EU. It's really going to affect us negatively if we leave. Um, but Britain's all about their, sovereign, their sovereignty and et cetera, et cetera. They're not thinking about their economic conditions right now. So that's why it's all coming down to the populace to vote. Um, and if you look at it, there's an overwhelming majority of individuals that are higher income that obviously want to stay within uh, the EU in Britain. So that's why the pound is being affected so much right now because it's really going to devalue the pound because the country is going to be devalued economically if it leaves the EU. Alternatively, currencies like the euro are getting hit because if, the, uh, if um, Britain leaves the EU, less people are going to use the euro right? Because the euro is the primary currency for um, all of uh, the European Union as well as Britain. Uh, Britain still uses the pound, but they do also use the euro. But you can guarantee that if they separate from the EU, a lot less people are going to use the euro. So if a lot less people are using a currency, that's obviously going to cause um, a decrease in uh, the value of that currency if fewer people are using it, right? There's going to be less demand for that currency, which is going to cause price to drop. Um, and then also, if we look even at a further kind of snapshot, if we go further back on the map, we can see that there, the whole global economy is truly re reacting to the fact that what if Britain, one of the top economic powerhouses in the world, leaves the EU and their economy decreases in size and ability, that's going to affect everybody on a geopolitical scale as well. 
So obviously, people are very worried. So that's why we saw a lot of different indices all around the world, including the DE30, which is basically the biggest uh, stock companies in Germany, truly affected by um, uh, Britain leaving or in, uh, leaving the EU because they're going to lose uh, all, a lot of these top companies in Germany. You're going to lose Britain as a trading partner. So it's causing the German stock index to fluctuate so much if they're going to lose a massive trading partner that they had in Britain. So it's causing a lot of different tensions like that. There's the stock market markets are being effective. Gold is being effective because it's being driven as a safe haven asset. So that's why we're seeing just so many different economies of scale being affected by Britain leaving or staying in the EU. So what's going to happen for the remainder of the evening? Well, the Britain uh, populace is still heading to the polls. They're still casting their ballots right now. Um, you can see on live updates through Scribble and those kind of means that uh, people are still voting right now. It's still pretty early in uh, the UK. Um, I believe it's about um, just about 440, uh, if I'm not mistaken. So there's still a lot more time. The polls are open until about 10 p.m. So we're going to see a lot more movement. You can guarantee that the that the pound will see jumps and uh, jumps throughout the day. But if we look at the candlestick charting specifically for the 30 minute chart, it's pretty clear that there's there's a highs and lows throughout every single one of them. So that means there isn't one continual downward pattern. The price is jumping up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, and going into this kind of overall ranges. The reason why it hit this high peak earlier on was because of a poll that recently came out, um, what came out a little earlier on today, about four or five hours ago, and it showed that, um, sorry, it was actually a little earlier than that. I believe it was, um, would have been basically early morning Britain, so about nine, nine o'clock yeah, GMT, that basically showed that the Remain camp, the Bremain, as people are calling it now, was actually about 4% higher. So we go into calendar here, or news, we can see it. So the GPB extends gains after ipsis Mori poll. I can never pronounce that. Uh, but that's a jump to its basically huge level because it's so the pro-EU side is now leading by 4%. So that was a really big poll because polling showed that it's very, very, very close, um, the overall uh, voting process right now. But now there's a poll, and it's a very popular poll, is showing that they're actually ahead by 4%. So people basically just factored in this Bremain to be the number one source that is going to happen. So that's why the market is currently doing what it's doing and currently why it hit that high point. But as we said, there is a very good chance that, um, that's why I'm creating that short position right here right now, that Britain will experience some jitters, especially when we head into the results this evening. Um, with no polls released, people will get very, very, very nervous. And they may be adjusting their losses. They may be taking their profits right now instead of waiting for a little bit later on, which will cause the market to continually go down in value. Um, so uh, if we look at the trend, the trend is definitely heading downward right now. It's hitting its kind of like zigzag peak right now, and then it definitely could head downward further. So that's what uh, we're predicting here. We believe the pound will make some movements downward. And then once the poll comes out, we still believe, and we've been saying it for some time, that we think British will remain, the, the Britain will remain within the European Union. This will then cause the pound to increase back up, probably to around this high peak. But we definitely will see some negativity prior to that overall increase, um, which will occur probably a little later on tomorrow morning. So that's kind of what we're playing our chips on right now again. We don't think an overall uh, strategy based on them remaining in the European Union is one to follow because it will come with volatility. It's definitely a good strategy if you guys um, wait for your positions to turn profitable and wait for a desired profitability level and then jump out of that trade. So that EURUSD, you saw that I was up about $19. I could have easily have jumped out of that trade at that point and you know grabbed that $19 into my account and then waited for the level to hit something desirable again. So that's definitely something I can look into uh, throughout the day today and throughout the night because the currency market never sleeps, right? The currency market's always active and it's always jumping around quite a bit. So we always have the ability to enter in and out of trades and be patient with our trades to ensure that we're waiting for them to hit a profitable mark and then jump out with the profit at that given time. So I believe that the Euro USD will continue to trend down what it's trending and that GPB USD will continue to trend down until we see those results come out of the British people voting to remain in the European Union. So that's currently what we have our chips on right now, guys, and uh, currently, obviously, what we're uh, believing. There is still time. Currency House is offering a 
50% bump on your equity for deposits if you deposit during this Brexit because we want you guys to really trade this event. So if you deposit between now and the polls come out, so you have uh, what's that, 10 hours, uh, we will boost your equity by 50%. So if you deposit, uh, like I said, we will boost it 50% because we want you guys to start trading. And like I said, we're really seeing some downward movement patterns in EURUSD and GPBUSD. Uh, even though my positions are a little negative right now, I'm, I'm quite confident that we will see them go positive. Um, so that's about it for uh, Currency House here today, guys. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. And if you're looking to take advantage of that equity bump, please send us an email to info at Currency House and we'll make sure to get you started right away. But thank you guys so much. Have yourself a great evening and we really hope uh, to see you guys in the profit tomorrow morning when we get that result in from Britain. Thanks so much, guys.